Så vi står på Nærbø. Andre gangen vi er her nå. Siste gang var to år siden. Så første ølen vi drikker er jo da en Krik of Telemark fra Nøgne. Sur. Nice. Norske kjørsebær. Veldig, veldig god. Så dette er bare å glede seg til. Skål! with Nugna. I'm originally from the United States, but I own a brewery in Beirut, Lebanon. Uh, the brewery is uh, based just outside the city. Um, we currently brew 100,000 cases of beer a year, mostly ales, but we do uh, brew a couple of lagers. Um, we brew 11 different ales and two different lagers. 
Um, we want to continue to expand our range, so I decided to come and learn from the best. Um, you can go from, we make 13 as I said, uh, Nogna makes 65 different beers. So uh, I thought it would be a good idea to come and learn how we could uh, make beer better. We actually started in Lebanon in 2006 during the Israeli war. Um, was the best time or the most auspicious time to start a brewery? Um, but we were very passionate about what we did. We actually started uh, brewing beer in our kitchen uh, in downtown Beirut. From there we quickly opened a brew pub. Uh, from there we opened a small illegal brewery inside the city because you can't actually have a brewery inside of the city of Beirut. We operated that for about a year. Um, it was actually so illegal that we didn't even have a bathroom. We had to trade power uh, from the brewery to use the bathroom from the guy next door, so we traded power for bathroom use. Um, we got really good at it. Uh, we started exporting, uh, and so there, from there we moved to our current location, which is uh, in the foothills outside of Beirut. Um, as I said, we currently make 100,000 cases of beer a year. We export to 19 different countries, um, and I hope to go back in the end of December and uh, take the knowledge I've learned here and continue to expand uh, the range of beers that we make. Um, don't believe everything you read about Lebanon. Um, what you read in the press, what you see in the press is very different from the actual situation in, in Lebanon. Um, it is uh, an interesting country to live in for sure. Um, but um, one of the things about the Lebanese, because we went through the Civil War from 1975 to 1990, is that you learn to really embrace every day. Um, so no matter what happens, we continue moving on. Um, we continue going out, we continue making beer, um, we continue going to the beach, we continue, continue skiing. So uh, it really is a different way of living. Um, so we don't really worry about what happens. Um, one of the things we very firmly believe in as a brewery, and one of the reasons we named it 961 is that we like to be very non-sectarian, non-political with our brewery. Um, so we chose the name 961 because it represents the entire country, no matter what uh, creed or, or political following you are, which is a difficult, definitely is a problem within the country, the amount of religions we have, the amount of ethnicity we have, but we decided we wanted to do something that was really for everybody, so that's why we chose the name. What kind of local flavors do you use? Um, we currently are trying to incorporate, like Nug Nug, we're trying to incorporate more local ingredients, which is difficult. Our wheat beer uses all Lebanese wheat, for instance. Um, we also make a Lebanese pale ale, uh, which uses Lebanese spices, so sumac, coriander, uh, or, and um, uh, cardamom, uh, chamomile. Um, so we're going to try and do more of that. We also make an imperial stout that uses cardamine and Lebanese coffee. Uh, so we do uh, try and incorporate as many local ingredients as we can.